What's up YouTube, my name is Zor and I'm the best Smash player, according to my mom. Today we're going over three different ways you can do short hop aerials on an enemy. All three of these techniques are really important depending on what character you're playing against and what character you're playing yourself. The first way is probably the most common that you've done where you short hop and immediately perform an aerial attack after. If you're a beginner you can also do this by pressing your jump key and A at the same time but to perform the other two short hop aerials you'll need to be able to do the short hops the normal way. So I would practice pressing your jump key quickly for the first hop and then immediately following up with an aerial. So this first technique is the easiest and is usually pretty effective to hit tall bulky characters or when you're facing a tiny enemy like Pikachu. They have a smaller hitbox and doing short hop aerials like this will miss. So this is where you need to adjust your technique to land a hit and that's why we're going to move on to the second short hop aerial. So for the second short hop aerial you're going to want to add a fast drop. So you're going to need to jump and do an aerial like before but at the peak of your jump you're going to tilt your joystick down to perform a fast drop. You will know when you've done this correctly if you hear, see a little spark that appears on the screen. So this is particularly useful for aerials that have multiple hits like the Fire Emblem characters, Neutral Air, or Young Link's Forward Air, and can catch opponents off guard with a surprise hit. It also allows you to perform two combos that aren't possible without a fast drop, as you would otherwise be too slow. So here's a clip of me hitting three Neutral Airs in a row on Ridley using Chrome, thanks to having the fast drop to quickly set myself up for one Neutral Air after another. Alright, so the last technique is a short hop with a delayed aerial. So for this, you're going to want to do a short hop and wait for a brief moment before hitting your aerial. This is going to take a lot of practice because the timing is going to have to be really precise in order to get the aerial out with this tiny bit of delay. And this allows you to really be able to drop a bit and then be able to hit those characters that have tinier hitboxes. Add a fast drop to this and you'll find yourself hitting extremely fast aerials consecutively. Many pros use this for attacks such as Mario and Palatina's back airs or for trying to juggle an enemy up with up airs from characters like Mark. That's all I have for this video. Just to review again, we did the normal aerial attacks with the short hop. We did the short hop aerials with the fast drop. And lastly, we did a delayed aerial after doing a short hop along with doing a fast drop afterwards for an even faster attack. As always, if this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see next. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.